Hey everybody, it's Ariel Flair and welcome back to the finale of Okami! In the last episode, we purged the pure evil that is in the Ark of Yamato, and now it's time to fend off against the real evil. Okami Amaterasu! Just being able to see you with my own eyes. I can't tell you how much joy it brings me. It pains me that I can't remain with you until the end. But I know that you won't let us down. I know I must join the others, but I'll never forget you. And how we used to play in the fields in our homeland. I pray that you will always shine bright, Amaterasu. With Marco's dying will and the spirits all cleansed, I think it's time we put this game to rest. There you are, Amaterasu. I thought I could handle this before you arrived, but it seems I have met my match. <laughs> this brings back memories, Machete. Remember when we faced Orochi together on the Celestial Plane? Behold, it is shrouded in darkness. Make no mistake. This is none other than Yami, the evil ruler of darkness. It was he who slew the Celestials on board this very ark and brought misfortune upon the land of mortals. Of course, it's too dark to see his true form now. And so it begins. The dreaded day of darkness is upon us. Distorted time and space brings about this phenomenon. This ill-fated day only occurs once every hundred years. Nobody, not even the gods, has the power to stop it. Still, I shall stand firm and fight this battle! For it was I who brought the Ark of Yamato to the Celestial Plane. But I was oblivious to the evil that lurked in its depths. I caused the death of countless innocent Celestials and brought a curse upon the land of mortals. However, I cannot reset my actions nor undo the past. Matarasu, Orochi can only be defeated with the power of the Chosen One. That was what I told you, and you waited for me without question. 
You waited patiently in this land of mortals. You waited for the day that Nagi, the Chosen One, was born. You believed in me despite knowing that I count myself among the ranks of the accursed Moon Tribe who had escaped from the Lunar Realm. I was deeply moved by your earnest spirit. This is why my faith in you has not waned since that fateful day when we engaged Orochi in battle side by side. Amaterasu, you must return to the Celestial Plane. You must do so in order to bring peace to this world. Yami! As we can see, we can no longer do the brushes at all. What we have to do is be careful that we don't really get hurt. But what we can do is Wolf Fu to weaken him in some manner. Alright. So now as we attack him, we will be getting back our own brushes. You've retrieved Rejuvenation. Alright, so now we're able to fully hurt, but as you can see, we can only do Rejuvenation. So now we have to wait for an opening. Uh, I'm just gonna run. Come on. Alright. We got our next power. You retrieved Power Slash. All right, now we gotta be careful with this fire. All right. What's up with this hammer? You really gonna break the floor? Alright. Can we bloom you? Oh no, we didn't get bloom yet. We got rejuvenation. I believe we'll get cherry bomb next. Oh no, green sprout. Alright. Now let's climb onto this and attack the main fish. Ah! Uh, all right, so this is his second form. As you can see, we can't do anything unless we weaken him with water. We gotta be super careful. Just make sure he tires himself out. Come on, tire yourself out. There you go. Now, as you can see, Power Slash will not work on him because he can separate himself. So, how about we get another skill? I believe this one is Lily Pad. Oh no, Cherry Bomb! There we go. Let's attack him. Oh my god. Let's go! I'm doing a whole lot of damage on him now. It's kind of disappointing. We have Water Spout, so come on, do your fire thing. We can just put you out. 
Now, something interesting is the constellations will all appear on the um, projector in the background. All right, what's next? Oh, that's um um moon, right? Or uh, what is it called? It's crescent moon. Crescent. Crescent, yeah. So yeah, as you can see, like we're getting all of our constellations back, and we can see them all on the projector. I cannot look at this room. All right, yeah, there you go. See, we're getting all of the constellations on the screen, or not on the screen, on the walls, for everyone we recover. Uh, please, okay. Uh, this one, we need fire. So this one is slot. What we want to do is just cut it. Uh, no, 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 no. What is that one, monster? Oh. We can't do anything with that. Actually, can we just deluge? Yes, we can. All right. So what we want to do is wait for the... We just have to make sure that we hit the middle one. Now, something interesting is it will still move in your... I don't know what this is called. Really? Ah! Uh... Come on. Like, literally, just let me... Get that middle. That's what I want. Ha ha! All right, so we're going to get another one. I believe this one is Inferno. No, Gale Storm. Even better. I have to remember we got we got Inferno after Gale Storm. Just attack him from up there. Oh, I cannot fight that, but I will be power slashing you from up here. Really? How did it not quantify for like a freaking con uh, brush? Yeah, that did. This one is Inferno. Okay. Yeah! Oh my god, my luck! All right, what's next? Uh, was it Veil of Mists? I think so. Yeah, okay. wanted to see oh wow you're just gonna one two th um come on do it again what no hold up what Okay, I guess the slot machine is broken. Oh, 
All right, that's one more phase that's gone. I don't know how many more phases, but I might as well just use. Them. No, we. we eh. I guess now we have an even number. All right, the lightning phase. Now he can walk. And he has whips. Uh, we can send those back. Oh, uh, no, we can't send that back. Yeah. Come on, do something that I will like. I like how this is like an actual thing that's happening. Like, just the giant fish is the final boss. Oh, I saw something on Catwalk. I saw. I think Catwalk is actually next. Yeah, okay. So I saw something on, like, some of these walls. So I'm gonna go here. What's up here? Oh, it gives you, it probably gives you items. Oh, what's up? We might as well check them out. Let's go to that one. Huh! Wait, I didn't even know you could fall off that. Oh, I can't even do anything with that. What's up, dude? Oh my god! You just... Alright, what's in here? A golden peach. Dude, come on. Leave me alone. I'm trying to get some chests. That is a vengeance slip. Got it. All right. Um, I just have to wait for you to open up. I really don't like doing that only because, like, you know, I would rather... Uh, all right. get you in like a weakened state. Alright, well I got a new brush. Which one's this one? Right, we got catwalk after catwalk. Did we get lightning? Or thunder? Yeah, thunderstorm. And then last but not least, you know what? Ha <laughs> ha. There you go. I just wanted to do it just once. I know I wasted every opportunity, but like, you, you guys can't blame me. Look, I got this ability, we're gonna use it. Blah! Okay. How did I miss that? Alright, uh, one, two, three. Oh, are we getting the last one? Is that it? We're getting Blizzard after this. That means we got everything. There you go, we got everything. Alright. Can we do anything with Blizzard? No, we can't. I mean, we can probably at this point. Ha ha! Oh, so it stays open! Um, 
Alright, uh, I guess Blizzard actually does have a use. I just have to wait for it. Oh my god. See, this is my first time doing this boss battle, and I'm actually kind of impressed. Uh, let's... Yeah! Okay, one, two, three... Oh, wow! I was almost done! I think this is the... This probably should be the last one. I mean, there's no more constellations. Unless there's some ultimate, like, thing that I'm not prepared for. Oh, okay. No, it is. <laughs> Not bad, Furball. Well, you know the drill. Let's have one of those famous howls of yours. Bah, that furball's always spacing out like that. Ami, can't get anything done without my help. Is that doggy crying somewhere, sis? Is that why the sunshine has disappeared? I haven't seen the doggy for a while now. Did my saying there's no such thing as gods cause all this? Snowy, the whole digging king. I never dreamt that you were a god. You're gonna make Hayabusa a nervous wreck. If you don't get that sun shining again soon. Matarasu, thanks to you, we can protect our village by ourselves. But you must be strong and triumph over evil. For the canine warriors so dearly wish to see you once more. Mm, that god sure was burning with passion. I don't know what happened. That mongrel doesn't come out of hiding. I'll have to send up a really big one to reignite that passion. Oh, so the wolf was really a god. Perhaps I should have made an offering of my bamboo whip. It may be my fault that the sun has ceased to shine. Who would have ever thought that? That rascal was really Shiranui reborn? My, my, now that God loved my cherry cakes. Could this darkness be caused by hunger? Dirt. Uh oh. The boss is praying? Snowy, did something happen to you? Why has the sun suddenly disappeared? But I won't roll over and play dead for evil. No brother of mine would dream of it! Ah ha ha ha! Something in my your brush where it touches the heart, you see. You never abandoned your life as an artist after all. When one tries to master something, it ends at either success or failure. But it is in the attempt itself where you find the true value. Believe in your own power and walk your own path. Isun! I see you have finally heeded your calling. Your resolve is plain to see your drawing. It has the power to move people's hearts and inspire the faith in the gods. 
Amaterasu, their fate shall be your power. Ha ha ha! He did it! My grandson did it! Look at the spirit behind this beautiful brushwork. He truly deserves the title of Celestial Envoy! It's work like this that will show the true glory of the gods and guide people to the right path. There's one thing I'm sure of, Amaterasu. You've found a much better companion than I could ever be. Okay, everyone, I know it's kind of hard to see in this darkness, but get a load of my latest work. Isud, wandering artist, presented his interpretation of the great god Amaterasu. Can you hear me, Ami? You're not floundering about without me, are you? You gotta pull yourself together. I finally chose my path, and I have the resolve to see it through. I've started to roam the lands as your missionary. But you gotta take care of things on your end, too. Don't look so sad. Just psych yourself up like we always did, remember? Oops, I almost forgot. Check out these, everyone. It's the great god Amaterasu descending from the heavens. Pretty good, huh? Ami was smiling down from the sky just a little while ago. Something must have disturbed the furball's concentration, though. That's why the world has gone dark. Without Ami, we can't take a refreshing nap outdoors. Rice won't grow. Plants and flowers will wither. Laundry won't dry. Monsters will roam about like they own the place. In other words, our world will be a total mess. No one wants to live in a world like that, especially me. So come on, everybody. Let's join together to call upon the great god. Let's show Ami that we truly believe. Put your hands together and pray. Let's make our gratitude obvious. I mean, we shouldn't pray only when we want something. We should consider how the gods must feel once in a while. We should even take on some of their burden. If you pray with all your heart, maybe the sun will cheer up and show itself once again. Lighting our world with its heavenly glow. After all, the best thing about the great god Amaterasu is that happy-go-lucky spirit. Right, Ami? Answer if you can hear me, you big furball. With rejuvenated Ami by our sides, let's do our very best and look at our celestial brush! It looks so cool! I honestly was floored. I've never seen this before. This boss battle is actually completely blind. I wasn't expecting any of this. How about we make it daytime, huh? There's Yami. Come on. What exactly do we want to go about this? Uh, that's not a good idea. Oh, we have to hit the hand? 
All right. He's in a weakened state. Wow, he just slammed down. All right. I'm actually like, oh my god, this music. <laughs> All right, that won't stop me. God, Ami looks so cool. Fantastic, Amaterasu. What a long and winding road it's been, eh, Masheri? But at last, our arch nemesis Yami, the Dark Lord who brought darkness upon the land of mortals, has been annihilated for all eternity. I must say, I was really surprised by your little bouncing friend. You couldn't have done it without him. <laughs> That tickles. Down, heel, you're going to lick me to death. Well, Amaterasu, time to embark to an even stormier seas. Making the world a better place is never easy. You must return to the celestial plane and set things in order. Only then can you usher in a new age of peace in the mortal world. Our journey is far from over, Machete. Now, full speed ahead! First stop, the Celestial Plane! Path to heaven, eh? <laughs> Kinda sounds like fun. You remember what I said the first time I met you, Ami? There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. So I'm going for a ball, and there's no way you're gonna stop me. I'm gonna pull out all the stops and inspire people's faith in you. You're gonna have more believers than you know what to do with. You'll see. Until then, take care of yourself, you big furball.
my god, that was such a good game! I personally never did that final boss, and I'm impressed that it was able to do it so well! Oh, man! I'm just impressed I was able to cover a huge majority of the mythology. Nine Tales is something that I personally didn't want to delve into because it's kind of something everyone already knows. It's literally just a fox, like, they have to trick you, in, like, you know, in order to get uh, a collection of different tales. But there was one instance where a fox was trying to trick someone, got drunk, and was then exposed gave, and gave birth to the monstrous form that is Nine Tales. I know I probably butchered that. That's probably like, the only mythology that I'm pretty sure I didn't reveal. But look, it's over! God, this. Uh, I'm kind of upset. It's done! Let me just put my Joy-Cons down. I seriously just can't believe it's done. I'm like so speechless! The end of a new LP. God, this one had so much planning to it! That was actually a really good game. Like, I'm actually really proud I was able to do this one. Because, like, I'm a real big weeaboo. I love Japanese mythology. I was able to cover a whole bunch, like I said before. I'm grateful I was able to do every animal tobe, all the stray beads. I imagine every clover and, and, like, tree. I know for a fact I bloomed them. There's no way I didn't. It's just... Ah! Man, I really love the way this ending looks. Okay, I'm kind of a little speechless, but meh. I'm honestly just really proud of Isun at the very end because, like, I didn't think he would actually go over there and just start painting Amaterasu. The scene where they're all praying is just so heartwarming. Like, this scene right there. I, like... I I'm obviously cut it out, but when Ami got taken by that tentacle, I was completely floored. I was just like, wait, that happened? I thought that was it. Oh, well. Now, something interesting is... If you guys remember the seal, it will be showing up very soon in the ending credits. I think that art artwork is actually pretty cool, honestly. Look at Lika. I think this part is cool the most because like we get to see everyone, you know, ah, oh, Otohime had a child. That's cute. All right, what's next? The Canine Warriors. Oh, they were the ones that sent out the um the uh, drawings and also the giant windmill, I guess. Fanny suit, you work real fast. I guess he hopped from one furball to the other. And look at Susano's child. Aww. Look at that. <laughs> and that concludes this most secret of tales. Well then, I'd say that's enough storytelling for today. This story contains the hopes and dreams of many fine people. Keep it close to your heart and cherish it. What's that? You want to know why I alone know this tale and that no one knows? You listened to this whole story and never figured it out? 
You missed the whole point. Jeez, what's wrong with you? I suppose I'll have to tell the whole story all over again. You best learn to show my brush the respect it deserves. Anyway, I'm tired. Let's call it a day. If you're eager to hear more, I can tell you the rest of the story some other time. Until then, do your best to live up to the heroes I told you about. It's time to roll this scroll up and give it a title. Okami Amaterasu's Adventure. Come back again, okay? Until next time! Man, I never realized that this actually had, like, credits for the HD remake. Special thanks. All right, well, at least we got that much. But this LP isn't yet over because there will be a bonus episode. There's a whole bunch of things that we can get for blooming all the animals. Like, blooming all the animals. Blooming all the trees, the clovers... We even get a reward for collecting all the stray beads, so in the next episode, which is the bonus episode, I will be showing off what exactly it is that we get. I am personally really excited about it, because I've actually never seen what it looks like. I've never seen what happens, I don't know what you get. But I guess it'll be a learning experience for the both of us. Sixty-nine days have passed. We've had zero deaths. Enemies defeated, sure. Money gained, yeah. Demon fangs found, that's good. Praise earned. Wow. That is a pretty... No, hold up. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm taking a picture of that. And I'm taking a picture of this. Wow. I'm impressed. Oh wait, are these like the rewards? So enemies defeated what well, oh oh wow, okay. Congratulations. You got presents from Isu. You obtain uh Karmatic Transformer 1, 2, Returner, Stray Bead. All stray beads have been reunited with the string of beads is complete. Uh, that? Okay. Wow. You know, I'll show you guys this. Look at this LP! Look! I had to do so many saves! That last save was from the River of Heavens, and look! So much has happened. 